Another semester is wrapping up, and that means another round of Met Report seniors are graduating. That's right, and this semester we have four seniors saying farewell. We'll talk to them in just a minute, but first, here's a look at their work over the years. Welcome to this week's edition of the Met Report. I'm Belen Ward. And I'm Melanie Townsend. Thanks for joining us, and I'm Cynthia Maldonado. And I'm Addison Goodell. Now, if you're looking for a place to eat on campus, iPie is the place to try. Pizza has tomato sauce, but iPie has infinite possibilities. Earlier this week, Denver Rescue Mission was enforced to put on hold a new opening of the new Lawrence Street Community Center. The treats inside Rocket Fizz Candy Shop truly are one of a kind. Unconventional, yes, extreme, maybe, but it's just another way to add a little sugar to your Valentine's Day. The women's golf team was looking to bounce back and put together two solid back-to-back -back rounds. The ladies headed to Longmont, Colorado for RMAC Tournament number one, and they responded in a big way. In the movie Back to the Future, Marty McFly travels through time. Many of us use Facebook to keep up with family and friends or to post the latest good news. Now this social media site wants to get involved with your work and colleagues, but not to worry, Facebook will separate personal life. Carving pumpkins, walking through haunted corn mazes, fall festivities just doesn't stop getting better in Colorado. And this weekend is starting to look drop-dead fantastic for zombie lovers. The San Francisco-based Bank Wells Fargo fired more than 5,000 employees and owes more than $5 million back to the customers. More construction on the Auraria campus has impacted another parking lot. The Holy Parking Lot besides the St. Cajetan Center will receive an electrical upgrade. Oh, well, you guys have worked really <laughs> hard here. at the Met Report, and we just yeah. wanted to reflect on your experiences that you've had here. So we'll start with Addison. So when I first started at the Met Report, you were the first person that kind of helped me out. You showed me how to edit and do video. So I just wanted to thank you for that because oh, yeah. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And I want to know what's the biggest take that you've gotten out of the Met Report? I think just being a tech comm major, this offered so much more than the actual um, tech comm department didn't get the offer, so I learned a lot more that translated over to other assignments in tech comm. So this was just a great experience for me overall. So. Yeah, and you've done a lot. I mean, you haven't just done the Met Report, you've helped with Met TV, which has started to form, and all the different TV shows. Can you talk a little bit about your experience with all of that? Yeah, it all pretty much started with Anthony Rodriguez's uh, Footage Fanatic show, and then John Madden, shout out. Uh, two cent beatdown shows and then from then on we just got more people doing everything from there and I always just wanted to be a part of everything and just get in all the hours I could. And what was your favorite part? Uh, probably just doing all the different shows and laughing and John Madden with the bacon and <laughs> Anthony and all that stuff so it was all just good times. So. Well we're really gonna miss you. Do you have any plans after graduation? Uh, I'm going into the Peace Corps. I'll be serving two years in Madagascar. So. Well we Woo! wish yeah. you the best of luck with Thanks. that. Appreciate it. All right, Belen, let's move on to you. Belen, you are one of the shining lights in our office every time you come in. Uh, every, you, know, you just bring the mood up in the office. Uh, so you already have some stuff going on. Uh, talk about wh what that is. Um, currently, I'm interning at Rocky Mountain PBS. And I'm, um, from my experience at Met Media, it has given me opportunities there to go out. And uh, my dream is to become a photojournalist. And so I've been given the opportunity to go out and shoot and work in their production department. And it's been a, a very great experience. And what is your biggest takeaway from being here at the Met Report? Um, I just learned so much. It, it helped me build confidence to become a photojournalist and going out to create packages and stories and um, it gave me experience and confidence and motivation and to accomplish my dreams. Well thanks Bowen. Mm -hmm. We'll miss you a lot. Thank you. Well now on to Miss Melanie. Yes. So we've just enjoyed having you around. Your personality is just so fun and sassy. <laughs> and you've done a lot of entertainment stuff mm -hmm. over the years. You've done a lot of interviews. What's been your favorite interview? Oh, that's such a good one. Um, gosh. You know, I had, I think, the most fun with the guys from Everybody Wants Some. And that was actually my, uh, my most favorite interview because they were so funny and they were just willing to talk to us for as long as 
you know they wanted to and unfortunately we only had a limited amount of time but they were really cool um, and I really I loved how it all came together so I think that was one of my most favorite ones but there's a, a ton of stories I've done that are just really true and dear to my heart so and you became EMET producer over your time at the Met Report. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about your experience with that? Uh, it's it's been a blast. It's been a lot of hard work, um, but I don't regret a single thing about it. It's been awesome. And what's some advice you'd give to somebody starting out in the Met Report? Um, you know what? It's it's a great experience for someone who wants to get into journalism. I think the first time I started here, I you know I had no idea that this even existed. Um, when I was a freshman and I think at that point I was kind of getting discouraged I was like well you know I can go to class and learn this stuff but I'm not really getting that you know full-blown experience and then joining this is awesome it's an amazing program that we've taken from here to here another familiar face graduating this semester was unable to make it today that's right Cynthia Maldonado joins us from her new job in Colorado Springs Hello everyone. First off, I want to thank Douglas and Andrea for reaching out and inviting me to the senior show. I'm so sad I couldn't be there today, but thanks for allowing me to be part of such a great day, one way or another. For those who don't know me, my name is Cynthia Maldonado. If you're wondering where I've been all semester or why I'm not present at the senior show, well, 12 weeks out before graduation, I signed my first TV contract with KRDO News Channel 13 in Colorado Springs. I'm the news anchor for Telemundo Surco and reporter for Channel 13. I can truly say I get best of both worlds as I get to report in Spanish and English every day in Southern Colorado. My experience at Met Media has been one to remember. I joined the team January of 2013. I started my student journalist career as a volunteer and worked my way up to assistant general manager along with becoming Noticiero TV Met's executive producer. I have too many favorite memories to share. But above all, there is one recollection I'll never forget. My friendship journey with Josh Kozar, Janice Carrasquel, Sergio Ornelas, Andrea Herrera, and last but not least, Elizabeth Nordberg. These individuals I just named are people who will always have in my heart and made an impact in my life. From long production nights to cracking jokes to filming each other's stand-ups and being a shoulder to cry on, these wonderful people I call my friends helped me grow so much as a team leader and most importantly, as an individual. If it wasn't for their kind support, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Office Mama, Liz, you always saw the good in me, and for that, I'll always be grateful. The accomplishments I am most proud of are, of course, winning three Student Achievement Emmy Awards. The 2014 Emmy Award is much closer to heart because that was Noticiero's first Emmy recognition ever. The show was a combination of successful teamwork and dedication. Met Media and MSU Denver's Communication Department are truly the reasons why I'm here at KRDO News Channel 13. The resources, class lectures, the one-on-ones with my professors helped me reach my goal. Rich Strong, thanks for believing I can land my first job in a top 100 market. Rich Ortner, I owe you the world. You guided me through a nerve-wracking hiring process. I'll never forget the day you spent hours explaining what my job contract was all about. Thanks for the professional advice as well. To conclude, my advice to all aspiring journalists, network, network, and network. Go out to journalism conferences and workshops, reach out to local journalists for advice, watch the news to know what's going on, and most importantly, believe in yourself. Run the extra mile in all you do, and never forget, si se puede. Congrats to all the other graduating seniors. I wish you all the best of luck. It was a pleasure working with everyone. Met Media from the bottom of my heart, muchísimas gracias. Reporting from the Newsplex, Cynthia Maldonado, Cardio News Channel 13. Well, we wish you all good luck in the future. Well, another semester is in the books, and that means another semester of mistakes. Yeah, that's right. We're not always perfect. Here's a look back at some of our best, best bloopers of fall 2016. Thanks for joining us on the Met Report. I'm Vinny Thomas. Never mind, y'all. Well, um, the... My bad. I wasn't ready. Oh, I'm going. Sorry. After over two years... Okay, sorry, guys. After over two years... Oh, what are we doing? I'm excited with the... Ah, oh, shoot. Let me redo that. Ah. Definitely want to be tuning into football this week. Kaepernick. Kaepernick. What did I say? Kaepernick? Kaepernick. My bad. It's an, internet, an international crime report. This... 
It's adding an additional day of the, sorry, uh, on December 9th and 10th. Ugh, dang it, sorry. The Roadrunners came into the, oh, sorry, three, two. And one calls made by. I'm Vinny Thomas with the Met Report. Well, oh, wait, sorry. Well, I know I would definitely be interested in taking a class I like know. that. You may have noticed the mark of a. You may have noticed the mark of a new gang. Personal security and safety is. Thanks, Vinny. The 911 calls from the shooter. I'm gonna miss him. I think he was a great, great president for the school. He did change it into a university. Hi, Ashley. Hello. Programa una cita con oficina de carreras para preparar tu currículo y buena suerte. <laughs> Sorry, I had to burp. I had to burp. I couldn't keep it in. No, not green. Why is it green? Turn it off. I think she wanted to try weather, actually. Did I? No. <laughs> okay. Probably <laughs> not. Looking for revenge. Awesome 16. I look like a doctor in this. What? Why did I wear this? When you have to anchor at 12:30, but have to do surgery, have to go perform a surgery at one. <laughs> Good uh, Elvis impersonation for me. Right? Yes, I'm Elvis. I'm at airing out my pits. <laughs> Smell bad. Some of the leaves up in the mountains already starting to change. I don't know. Seems kind of like Cold War era spy equipment. Prompter's not even in the right spot. Can we get Prompter in the right spot at least? <laughs> Prompter's not flipped. Oh, wait, really? Oh, well, flip prompter. I'm just waiting on teleprompter. Can we go teleprompter? Where's the teleprompter at right now? Where's my prompter? <laughs> we can't see anything in the prompter. Nothing prompter there. Prompter didn't scroll. Look at what we're sitting at right now, 77 degrees. I am a giant right now. Take a look at that. Look at the small little graphic right here. Okay, that's better. Florida, so we do expect some partic partic rain down there. That's right, Avery and Alina. We're going to see <clears throat> today. So tomorrow, oh. Dang it! Three inches of storms. Oh, what does this mean? Where's Douglas? Of uh, five to ten miles per hour. So, um, oh, I'm doing that too. Okay, sorry, I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Congratulations to all of our graduating seniors this year. We wish you all the best of luck. We hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday season, and be sure to keep up with us through the break by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see you next year.